Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's February 2nd, Thursday morning, and the USDA just released the uh, weekly export numbers. Corn, the trade was looking for 700 to 1,100,000 uh, tons. It came in at 975, so that'd be uh, right in line. Uh, soybeans, however, 450 to 700 was a trade estimate. Came in at 368, so still a weak uh, performance there on bean exports. And wheat, uh, 500 to 700 at the low end of the estimated range at 552. Jobless claims also out this morning, uh, a little lower than what uh, was expected, 367 versus a 375 estimate. Productivity in line with what the uh, trade estimate was. So nothing uh, real earth-shattering here this morning, just a, a little weaker number in corn. We've seen weaker prices overnight in the uh, grain markets. I uh, think a lot of that is just position evening, uh, profit-taking, a uh, market that had rallied sharply here for uh, several days, setting back a little bit. The fundamentals really haven't changed at all. We have the uh, the macro situation in Europe that has kind of cooled down. Uh, not much news coming out of there today. We're still waiting for the Greek uh, debt uh, negotiation resolution for the uh, private debt and uh, debt swaps that uh, they're working on. Uh, have not got any uh, word yet on any conclusion there. Talk now is that the the EU is going to just uh, sit on their hands and wait until they get some conclusion of that uh, debt before they uh, make their move. So it's a cat and mouse game at this point in time, and we'll have to wait and see what the uh, the news uh, reporters can uh, find out here over the next several days. Weather situation, South America... Pretty much uh, a done deal as far as uh, hugely important because the areas that needed moisture has got some moisture. Uh, it's a deal where the crops down there that uh, that did get some moisture may have been too late, not uh, going to help increase production. It'll certainly, uh, you know, may help quality some as we uh, and they move into harvest. Other areas where it's, uh, they needed some drier conditions to get harvesting in Brazil, uh, that seems to be the case, and uh, they're able to uh, uh, kick into harvesting in those areas. Uh, the weather forecast that uh, we're looking at now is the weather forecast here for this weekend through the uh, southern plains up into the uh, cattle feeding areas of uh, Kansas and um, into uh, Nebraska. Uh, some forecasts now are looking at anywhere from 12 to 14 inches. Uh, they kind of moved that system a little further north, so that might uh, help the uh, some of the the cattle feeding areas down in southern Kansas, northern Oklahoma may not uh, get quite as much snow. So that uh, uh, will have an effect on uh, cattle prices here uh, as we go into the weekend. Uh, other than that, uh, the, it, we've still been uh, waiting for some kind of comment out of Russia that are they going to impose a, a tax on uh, exports? So that's been talked about and providing a, a big uh, supportive catalyst to the wheat market. Uh, haven't received or seen any uh, data on that as of yet, so that's what we'll be watching here today. And uh, it appears like. Uh, you know, at this point, they probably would or put some kind of a slowdown in exports because that's uh, what they have said for some time. We're going to export anywhere from 23 to 25 million tons of grain. They're at about 19, 19 and a half right now. So they have still uh, 5 to 6 million tons to, to sell, but uh, they need to slow that down here before the end of the, uh, the marketing year and the new crop comes in. So uh, that will be monitored very closely without any news there. A profit-taking uh, scene in the wheat market as well here overnight. In the livestock trade, uh, choice beef was up 104, uh, select up 60. Certainly not enough in order to, to uh, narrow the gap in the uh, Packers' uh, red uh, operating margin. So that's uh, a, a big factor that is uh, controlling the uh, the fat cattle trade this week. 
uh packers have uh, reduced production and uh they're it's a, a waiting game there as well until we get uh, probably into late this afternoon tomorrow maybe even late tomorrow before cash cattle are traded uh, right now the bids and ask are still far apart and actually the bids are uh minimal not a lot of interest at this point in time uh from the packers to uh to buy cattle so uh a standoff there. You got a snowstorm that uh, should support uh, values. If it doesn't develop, uh, come in next week, we could see some uh, some pressure there in the uh, in the cattle trade. So uh, that's uh, something that Allendale's research is definitely staying on top of. And and in the pork complex, uh, prices there or cutouts were up ten cents. Uh, futures were strong yesterday. We had a little setback here overnight. They were able to break through some key resistance areas on the charts and take out the 100-day moving average yesterday. Uh, looks like uh, we're getting started into our uh, spring uh, seasonal uh, rally in the hogs. And uh, stay tuned to the uh, the Allendale uh, research to uh, see the check out our projections and uh, help you manage through the uh, these uh, choppy times. So uh, you can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish you a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.